Hello, everyone. Uh, I have an amazing story to uh, tell, to share with you. And it's about the history of uh, building an emerging community in Latin America. So let's start. I'm Samantha Peggy. I'm one of the leaders of Crown Native Latin and co-founder and leader um, as well and Rise of Fintech Community. And I, the community rockstar at Quemby. I love this term because it allows me to build and empower communities. And with, I have with me Angel Ramirez and he's CEO of Quemby and he's a passionate tech. He likes to empower people and communities around uh, cloud native technologies. And he is a leader as well of uh, cloud native Latin. So uh, picture this. I, I like to um, share about the um, how we can start and how we can get this, this unity, this united people in just one room. And it was with a lot of work, with a lot of passion and love. And communities are the lifeblood of the tech innovation. And I have a question, how to get to tech innovation without the community? And the answer, quick answer, is, is very hard and it's not possible. And how to um, get to tech innovation is uh, with the beginning of the emerging countries and the economy that we have at the time. Uh, we bonds recession do expanding 6% since 2010. And uh, always was the talent in tech innovation, uh, specifically in Latin America. So the tech landscape uh, of our region was fragmented and how uh, we can get together all, the, all these communities, all these isolated uh, persons, because the, uh, the talent uh, have an opportunity in Latin America. But one of the facts is the um, science child in Latin America, uh, we born with a, a a mindful that it's not possible for us to be here. It's not possible for us to talk about tech communities. And uh, we need to show um, that it's possible to um, uh, get out of this gap and do not have fear to show the knowledge. And in another fact is that our community is um, fragmented to, to with the connection. We don't have access yet in 32 uh, percent uh, of the region in Latin America to internet. We don't have access to internet in 32 percent of the region. So uh, that's a lot of people. It's around two. 124 million people that have no knowledge or awareness about technology, and we uh, want to close this gap. And around the background, the company's background is about software companies in Latin, uh, be their limited technical resources in Spanish. So all the technical information, all these uh, histories that we share is from our experience, technically. And we started with diverse but disconnected communities. 
we have all these people that want to be there and uh, have a diverse uh, communities around Latin, but we don't know, they don't know how to start, how to share with more, how to expand this voice of knowledge. So we uh, join forces and uh, we start to uh, make our best work with our favorite method that was the community. And that's why we are here. So now I'm gonna do a open angel to start about the key challenges that we found. Thank you, Samantha. Let me measure the mic because uh, I'm coming from Cuba, so my pitch is very high. So I'm sorry, I'm not yelling. It's just that's how we are. <laughs> Um, so thank you, Samantha, for introducing this. And um, uh, I would like to give a round of applause to Samantha, please. Uh, this is her first time <laughs> speaking. She's amazing. And that's exactly what we're doing at the communities, is helping everyone to get their opportunity. Um, coming from Cuba, I never dreamed that I was going to be standing here in this type of setting. And um, Samantha also had the opportunity, coming from Colombia, to be here, share a story and uh, specifically sharing our, our challenges, right? So as every community, LATAM has their challenge. And as you can see here is a first lack of leadership. We also have limited collaboration. Our resources, of course, is still not that many, <laughs> but we're working on it. And um, you know, the engagement, as Samantha was pointing out, was not that easy, right? Sharing and the communication was a little limited, um, especially because we were so fragmented that we have some spark of community, but we didn't have that communication openly. So we had to work on those. Um, and how we, we did it, we start basically with the first challenge is we always had to start with the leadership. Sometimes we just go and talk to everyone, but what is exactly we want to accomplish? And you need to start with leadership. And um, I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> this is my first slide on the whole presentation because this is the time that I get to recognize everyone that has been doing this work. So I would love to all the clan native Latin leaders, but please stand up for me. Uh, I know you're here. <laughs> Come on, Jose, Chris, Elias, Edu, there you go. These are the people that are doing the hard work and uh, they deserve it more than anyone. And uh, the reason why is because they made the first step, right? So always someone has to do the first step and I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful that all of you did it. Raise your hand and say, how can I help? What can I do for, for the community? And now uh, after that, we started, of course, doing a lot of initiative. Um, we have one here, uh, Jose Flores. He, uh, he actually took the, uh, the leap of and say, all right, so I'm gonna help a group of people to study for the CK exam. Who wants to join me? And then he got now in a, in a chat about like, what, like 60, 70 people <laughs> working with you there? So that was a great initiative. So, but instead of just doing initiative for just trying, we started doing a more organized way. That's why we started with the leadership and then we moved into the program mentorships and um, that's how we started. We also have another leader, uh, Alvin, he's not here with us, unfortunately, but he took the, the uh, step and he's now also helping another group of people in Latin America to uh, do the uh, uh, KCNA exam. So why are we focusing on this first? Because um, maybe not on the, in, in the rest of the world, but Latin America, we still depend on certifications and bashes. Uh, and that's actually a way for us to continue back to the community, give them an opportunity and help them get a better, maybe a position, a better job, or, or just get the knowledge that they need uh, in a more accessible way. And why we focus on those programs is because even though that most of the people that we're here, we understand English and we learn English to work, but not everyone have that opportunity. So we basically take all that content and our learnings and we made it uh, in Spanish. And this is not just something that I started a few months ago. We actually started doing this years ago. Um, it was about 2018 when we decided to say, hey, 
let's do a live video and share with the community something about Kubernetes. And I remember that I was doing the video and then I had my wife, the only viewer, uh, which gave me support to continue doing more. <laughs> but after that, we actually started getting more and more people. And these same leaders that you see here and the ones that are online, uh, they start joining and say, I wanna help. I wanna do one video. I wanna do three, four, five. And that's how we start getting the, uh, the community on Kubernetes and LATAM accessible. Because like I said, not everyone speak English. Okay. Now, collaboration, that's important. Because even though that you may do a lot of content, even though that you can try to you know, nurture leadership, we still silos if we don't collaborate. So how we did that, all the communities start getting together. Uh, Salvador community started collaborating with Colombia, Colombia with Mexico, Mexico, Guatemala, Guatemala with Colombia back again. Then uh, with Argentina that we have here <laughs> also with us, and Chile, Peru, Ecuador. So all those communities start getting together and start thinking instead of just our country, we start thinking now our region. That's the, the, the collaboration that we're forcing. I'm really proud that we're doing it because uh, definitely it's, it's, it's helping. It's something that I noticed that people have different ways to learn, right? So maybe even though that I, no, I, don't, I, don't, I speak and maybe you might think, oh, maybe Cubans will listen to Angel. Not really. Everyone listening to different people because they relate to them in a different way. So by collaborating with multiple uh, uh, communities, they might find the person that say, oh, I like how this person teach, or I like how this person speak. Let me listen to him. And at the end, we're the same community. And access to information, as I was saying, content, 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 because some of them, they don't have an example. But it's not just about creating content. It's about creating content that actually works for them, especially around uh, real life examples. Uh, the reason why we started the online uh, meetup with content uh, uh, with real life samples because we want them to see how we succeed and how we fail. Um, I'm actually, even though that it might theme, uh, seem like very odd, it's like I'm proud to be the one that actually have the most mistakes online doing live uh, demos. And the reason why I'm proud of that because every time that I, something happened and I had to fix it, they always come in and say, thank you, Angel, because now I know that every time that I follow a, a tutorial, it doesn't always go the way I think it should. And they're actually proud of that, that you know, we actually show the whole thing. Right? Just not cuts and anything like that. So that's how we started doing content. And then now we do it in a little more organized way, like I was saying, with the CKAs, with KCNAs, and we will continue doing that um, for more stuff. Now, I love this, this part. Um, if you want to know exactly how a story started, this is how. We, um, we created the KCD. Um, Colombia, which uh, definitely we have our angel, <laughs> Aldra. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I told you that I was. <laughs> yeah, we call uh, Aldra our angel um, because um, when we were trying to get a KCD in Latin America, we didn't have any present, right? So there was no other event in, this, in the region, so we have no idea what we were doing, period. So she guided us through the whole thing, how to do it, what not to do, how to you know, get the, uh, all the uh, event in, pro in process, and that's how we got here. But the things that I even, I'm even more proud about is that in the top right, you see there, those are the leaders that took the first step. Those are the ones that say, I don't know Angel, I don't know who this guy is, I don't know who's Chris, I don't know who's Jose, so let me go and help. Let me go and support them. And that is what we should start thinking when we're building community. Someone has to do the first step. Even if it's just uh, no, a leap of faith, right? Um, there is one of my uh, favorite persons, and I consider her also a mentor, and, um, Andrea Kate, and she told me once, take the trip. And that's what they did. They took the trip. They took the step and go and help. And, um, and that's how everything started. For me, that was like a spark of the community because after that, then it became more events in person. Now we went and pay our, our, basically our, our debt to the other leaders and say, no, yes, Sergio, Alvin, Osimar, 
you help us out. We're going to help you now in the KCD Guatemala and do whatever it is. And what I like about this community is that we don't just go as, a, oh, I only go as a speaker or I only go as a, you know, um, and, and a VIP invite. No, we go and help. We are volunteers. Like, to, do I have to move chairs, tables? Let's do it. At the end, what we want to make sure is that every community also get the opportunity to have an event like the one that we had and take the same you know, benefits. And we didn't stop there. <laughs> we actually went to the Sabal as well. And um, this is something pretty cool because uh, something came up out of all these events. And um, this event was beautiful. I want to say uh, kudos to the organizers. Uh, Jose is here. It, um, this is the first time that I see an event not happening in the main city, which is uh, very common. It's like usually you say, oh, we go to the main city. No, we actually went to a, a, a different city. And um, I almost cry because it's like seeing the passion that all these students had when they saw us there. And, and, you, you know, and they get this knowledge. Most of them told us, like, I would have never thought that we would have people like all of you. And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the guys that I showed in the first picture. Speaking here, giving us content, content you know, trying to try and, and, and get us information that we might not know if uh, we will have access. So uh, I definitely appreciate the, um, the organizers of uh, KCS. But we also have Melvin here. There you go. Melvin. <laughs> Which, uh, thank you for putting that together. Like I say, Salvador for me in Mark another step on the Latam community because from that moment on, it's basically we became like, like a big family. From, we just, where everyone goes, everyone follows. Like, let's go and help that leader. And that's something very, uh, you know, um, something that passionate me about. Um, now, guys, of course, there's like, what we're going to get from this, uh, this uh, KCD or so event that we did. It's like, uh, yes, there's one that always had to happen that inspired the other ones, but something that I want to add into that takeaway is like, it's just not making one event or, or something that inspires other. Also, go and do the same for the, the person that took the leap of faith on you. Um, and this is something that I, that, that I want to uh, highlight. Is like, we need to drop egos if we want community to work. There's no eyes on communities. There's we. And that's the way that it should work. If they help us, we help them. And together, we continue helping the other one. And we do the same every time that we go. Um, this is kind of like how it looks like. <laughs> uh, of course, you can see it on the uh, uh, Clan Ladies uh, website. Um, but this is, how, this is what happened, right? And we're representing here, not the case it is, we're representing people that are helping people from different backgrounds. And this is what Samantha was highlighting at the beginning. Even though that we are Latin America, we are completely different. We have different background, different culture, different everything. But we found something that brought us together and something that from now on, basically, we will stick together. It's like, like that. We're glue now. And, um, and this is something that I'm definitely very proud about. And um, as you can see here, basically, it's going to become more and more events. We've got Mexico, Costa Rica, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia. But if you notice, there's more, right? So we also helping alongside with Audra, how can we bring more, more, more events? Because at the end, that's what's going to make the uh, region grow. And of course, that if the region grows, everyone grows. That's what we're looking for with this. Just give it a second. So if you want to you know, support us, <laughs> you're supporting us, we support you. <laughs> There you go. Thank you so much. Um, so let's go to the next one. So I'm going to take one second. Oh, I, I got 15 minutes. I mean, so this is something very cute. Hold on. Good. There you go. Take that step. And there you go. So we, we actually built our own flag. There you go. Representing every community that we currently have and the ones that we want also to join. So that's uh, our fellowship, Club Range Latam. So I don't know if you can hold it there. Wait for a second. There you go. Oh, you can give it to, uh, to uh, Jose. Jose, can you give it? 
You okay? So we don't. So what is the fellowship means uh, in cloud at that time? It's like, what is the passion that brought us together? Cloud Netis technology, CNCF, Kubernetes. So we continue doing that. And the way that we're doing it is now doing a fellowship. And uh, that's why I was saying that El Salvador basically mark another step, another uh, level in the uh, community, because now what we're doing is like, all right, so it's coming up, Mexico, let's go to Mexico. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, he, we got the uh, uh, Victor Moraes, he's uh, organizing Mexico alongside all the organizations, so uh, organizers, so sign up, send some speakers. Okay, call for papers is open, just saying. Um, but what, what we're trying to do here is supporting everyone. Let's go Mexico, let's go Brazil, let's go Costa Rica, Argentina. So every case city that is opening, that is what fellowship is doing. We're gonna go together, we might not go everyone because now we, we have a lot of leaders on the, on the uh, um, you know, Carnegie Latam, but at least having representation of all it because something that we notice that impacts is that when the community see the leaders united is something that really impacts on them and that's what drive them and say i want to help because if you see just uh, you know silos of course now no one's going to follow silos um but that's kind of what we what we're going with this fellowship and that's the, the the way that we're approaching now we're not stopping at kcds we also trying to help cities or, or, or other organizations with the, uh, of course, the guidance of uh, Aldra, how can we now spark a new community? How can we do the groundwork? Do we have to go and do like a small event or some or meet up? Let's go. Let's try to get them excited about what we are excited. So then we can get to those KCDs and hopefully a cube day, cube car, why not? Well, I'm just saying, this is, this is recorded in the CNCF. Um, so that's kind of the thing that we're looking for, all right? So once again, if you wanna you know, check out what we're doing at, at Cloud Native Latam, that's our community um, uh, page that we have in the CNCF. You're gonna find us there, and um, we also have online stuff like that. Right, see, there you go. And that's, uh, that's what we got for you today. Thank you so much, and uh, if you have questions, more than happy. Please, we got... You got it, brother. <laughs> now you just you just got a whole family for you. Aprende acá. Okay. Ahí está. Hola. Let's connect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see? Camille the Rockstar. <laughs> We're glad to estamos emocionados de que vengas acá. Claro que sí. Nosotros eh, damos como estas estructuras eh, no solamente como a todas las comunidades, sino para también para nuestro propio equipo de cómo pueden iniciar de los artefactos, de estas imágenes, de eh, eh, las, eh, los patrocinios, porque se sabe que los eventos a veces son pesados económicamente y porque la idea es llegar a más personas. Entonces, a la hora de nosotros llegar y decir, hey, Kubernetes, Cloud Native, las tecnologías avanzan muy rápido, hay mucha información en la cual continúa en inglés y enseñarles un poco de este concepto eh, y saber que en Colombia, en Guatemala y en El Salvador se logró, es fantástico, entonces vamos a hacerlo, claro que sí. She just signed you up, man. You don't, you don't, you don't know what you got into. <laughs> Any questions? Another fun fact. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh -huh. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah. 
So to, to make it the whole trip, so we got Brazil and Mexico almost at the same time, I believe, right? So it's the 23rd, come on, it's the 23rd and 24th of February. And a week later, it's going to be Costa Rica. So, you know, that's a good time for planning a vacation, right? So let's say that you say, you know, I'm going to take the next two weeks. So I'm going to either Mexico, Brazil, and then Costa Rica. That's, that's amazing right now. We actually say, and we have a sticker here. We actually say that um, we take this as an excuse to travel, right? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but it, it actually helps. Go ahead, Douglas. Awesome. You want to say something? Cool. Any more questions? <laughs> uh, that's that clear, hombre. <laughs> All right, so here's what I would like to do. I have only eight minutes, but I think it's a plenty of time. Can we, if you want, can we all take a picture together so we can share with the Latin community, please? Right here in the front. That would be great. Come on. Don't be shy. I don't bite. <laughs>